Does this remind you of a dream you've had before? Of a nightmare? That you can never forget that haunts you? Every time you close your eyes? Well then you should seek professional help, because this is just Minecraft. So, 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 hello everybody, this is e e e e e so. Well, well, welcome back to another episode. Hmm. I messed up my intro. Let me try that again. Hello, everybody. This is Ito, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play series. Uh, today, we are starting out in the end because... We're safe. We're good. Okay. <laughs> Uh, there's something I want to do here. And also, people have actually requested that I do an episode in the end because it's been so long. And it really has been. I haven't been here in a long, long time. I usually use my dual blaze farm instead of the ender ender. Which still works pretty good. <laughs> I like how when they fall now. Oh, it's so loud. Oh. Off. Come on. Okay, everyone here again? Hey, come on, guys. Yeah, it works pretty good. I like when they fall now. It makes, like, this big uh, explosion effect from the particles. Like that. Because <laughs> they fall 40 blocks, so it's a big fall for them. Um, it's, it's like we got these little bombs falling all over around us. <laughs> um, but, yeah... I, don't come here too often anymore. I still use ender pearls a lot though, and one of the things I've been wanting to build in my world here is uh, like a way of transporting the ender pearls from the farm uh, back to the ender portal here, so they're easy to get b get through. Because I find uh, I don't use ender pearls as much as I would like to, because they're kind of a pain to transport, like from here all the way to my man cave is a long distance really so uh, today we still have the eats road here I think uh, I think the way we're gonna do this let's just open this up right now the easiest way of doing it I think is to set up a track underneath here uh, with a two block high clearance hmm maybe Maybe we can get it so we can load the minecart up over there with ender pearls, and then when it's full, it'll take off down this track, drop them off, and then come back uh, once we reload the the minecart or something. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna try set up some automated uh, ender pearl delivery system today if we can. And there's also a few other little things I want to try out with the end, like getting a horse there. <laughs> How? How does that work exactly? Let's find out. So, luckily, I have a pathway all the way from here to the stronghold base that I almost never use, but it's it's available if I need. Uh, right over here. Hey guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, I built this a long time ago. Don't really use it, but it's it's there if I ever need to like move supplies from one base to another easily so we might use this to get the ender pearls to the man cave or we might try to set something up through the nether because the nether would be a lot closer but you just got to deal with going through uh, portals and stuff if you go the nether route this is actually a lot further than I remembered <laughs> oh and enderman damage look at this uh, we got to decide what we're gonna build the the rail track for out of and I'll probably just do uh, stone slabs because they're nice and simple wow this is far this is really far <laughs> wow I thought uh, I'm actually a little amazed I don't re remember it being this long okay mountain this mountain biome oh river and take a turn. And for some reason it's dark here. Oh, because it's swampland. The grass is darker. And it comes out to over here. 
Uh, that that thing was fun to make. Okay, so we're pretty close. I think the strongholds we can get to right here, maybe. Hello. Oh, that wasn't smart. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Man, why am I taking damage so fast? Did they change that too? Like, that is quick suffocation damage. All right, come back. So, second chance. We gotta get you up here. And there's a fall here that will probably kill him. <laughs> so let's be a little careful. And me. Kill me too, I'm sure. Okay. Jump. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Jump. Uh, let's actually get a little protective wall going. Okay. <laughs> Good, and then the end portal is right down here. Let's just take a look. Yes, yeah, so we're going to take this out. Just needs a 2x2. Two two. Oh, he did not do that. He killed himself, didn't he? Seriously? He's gone. <laughs> he fell. Oh, there you are, you, you little bugger. Second chance. He only took half a heart. Okay. Now I gotta do this jump again. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, and here we go. What is gonna happen? Okay, I expected that now when we hop off. Yep. <laughs> we both went through. And now, to safely get him up here. Okay, so I had this idea with the horse. Like, I can, I can run around here with a pump down my head and just take these guys out. Or I can, I can stand over here and, and look at them all and have them come to me. But then I gotta wait for them to come towards me. This way I have to spend time running around. But I'm wondering, how quick is it with the horse if I just go, <laughs> like, assassin mode here? How tough is this? Mm, not super fast, still. See, I'm trying to find something that's quicker than having them come to me um, with this, this setup where... They're all flat on the ground like this. This is okay. Let's let's try speed it up. I brought some potions. Another idea is I could get a beacon here with speed two on, and then I could run around a lot quicker. Uh, not with the horse, but just as as myself. This isn't too bad. Don't think it's faster than having them come to me though. But it's interesting to see, regardless. It's just a little too hard to control. Well, we got 30 levels in no time just goofing around over here, so... I say let's try Enchant a Sword. I enchanted one of these earlier today, and I got a little surprise. Let's see if we can make it happen again for Lucky here. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> what a piece of junk. Could you ask for a worse enchantment? Well, I guess... Is there a Bane of Arthropods 3? Yeah. That would have been pretty bad, too. Ooh. Uh, but yeah, earlier today I enchanted a diamond sword, 30 levels, and it got Unbreaking 3 on it. So uh, they must have changed it when they added the enchantments for fishing rods, I'm guessing, where you can now get Unbreaking 3... Uh, from enchanting swords or or unbreaking period, I should say. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so we're just laying the the ground for our track here. We're gonna use these wooden slabs, I guess. Uh, they kind of match the fences in that above. Not that it matters too much. 
I put all my stuff in the chest because I figured I would die placing these slabs above the void there, but I actually actually didn't because sometimes when you place these, it'll place it like a half a slab lower and you'll just fall through the ground as you're placing it, which is really annoying, but it didn't happen, which I was a little surprised. Um, so yeah, we're going to make this come all the way up to our end portal here. I was trying something here with the Eats Row 2. I'm, I wanted like a return and ejection system for the boats. It turns out, and these are a pain by the way, if you want a boat to dispense, you have to put it, the dispenser, one, two, three blocks below the actual, or two blocks below the actual, no, three blocks, one, two, three, below the actual water you want the boat in. So watch this. Do, 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 and we get the boats. So, press the button, and the boat comes up there. Any higher, and it goes on top of the half slabs here, which is really weird. Uh, but I tested it out, and on the return, instead of breaking on the cactus, it the boat explodes and it, into sticks and planks, and doesn't doesn't return properly so I might have to make some adjustments but let's see let's go let's go back to the world here and get some tracks going uh, I got something to tell you guys this episode let me know if you noticed a difference but I've changed my audio settings a little bit I've I noticed that um, let's see we want these I noticed that uh, all this time I've like I checked my recording settings, my mic settings I should say, and apparently I've been recording at 44,100 hertz uh, instead of 48,000, so uh, my, vo my voice might sound a little bit clearer this episode. Let me know if it's better or worse. I've tried listening to it and it almost sounds more pingy to me for some reason, but maybe my, my speakers are too loud or something. I don't know. So let me know if you if you think I sound better. <laughs> um, I've also made some other adjustments, and the video might be smoother in that too. I've just I've been trying to improve things uh, quality-wise, and I've been looking into it, guys. I've had uh, I've had this current computer for three years now. It's it's a pretty good computer actually. I paid fourteen hundred bucks for it uh, three years ago, about, and it's got an i7 860 in it. And I forget what the video card is. Actually, I got all the specs on my channel, I think. But uh, 16 gigs of RAM. It's still a pretty good computer. I, th I think it's pretty good still. I don't have too much trouble with it. But it's been about three years, and I use my computer a lot, like a few hours every day at least. Um, so I've been looking for a new one. And let me know what you think of this, guys, like you you experts out there. <laughs> I found this computer. It's $2,000, an Asus. I don't know if that's a good brand or not. Let me know. And uh, it's got an i7-4770K in processor. Um, a lot of people don't realize this, but just saying you have an i7 doesn't, <laughs> doesn't mean you have, like, top-of-the-line computer. There's different models. Uh, f like first generation, second generation, third, and I think they're up to the fourth now. So the 4770K is a part of the fourth generation. And there's also different like s uh, specs to it. Like some are more efficient than others. Like they consume less power but do more. Um, well, they they won't be as fast as like a gaming processor. Um, Anyway, but I think it's a pretty good processor. It's only been out for a few months. It's got a GeForce 770 uh, video card in, 32 gigs of RAM, 3 terabyte hard drive, 128 gigabytes uh, solid state drive with Windows 8 on, and I think that's about it. Blu-ray Blu drive, so 2000 bucks. Let me know what you guys think of that. I might get it. Um, it would definitely improve my quality because I could sometimes when I play Minecraft it it uh, lags a little bit like the frame rate gets choppy and if I had a better computer it would probably work better and also I'd be able to render videos quicker and that kind of stuff too which would be nice uh, I think what we're gonna do just for this is 
I don't know where to start. We'll keep it a low profile. We'll do power rail, detector rails, like this. Every every few blocks here. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> this is why we don't build in the end very often. Oh, I was uh, taking the Eats Road back, to, like grabbed a bunch of tracks, a full stack of power rails there, and all kinds of stuff. And on the way back, when I made it to the end of the Eats Road, uh, the boat fell through the ground and broke. And I am falling. Come on, come on, come on. Hit something. Hit something. No. Sure. Sure, there's that. And I just lost a whole ton of stuff. Still have some more. Now, thankfully, <laughs> I had a feeling something like that was going to happen today. That's why I put my tools and my boots and that in the chest. I still have those, but I have them on now, so I definitely don't want to die now. Uh, I did lose an enchanted diamond axe, though, and a whole bunch of rails, detector rails, power rails, regular rails, and like a stack of wood and stuff, too. My stake. So, a bit annoying, but I recovered here, and I got most of this built now, so I'll show you what it's going to do. Very simple, actually, not, nothing too fancy here. But we have a storage minecart down below with iron fences. I can walk on these without falling through, no problem. But uh, I can also access the minecarts and fill it up with ender pearls. And let's just see if it makes it all the way back. So... Yeah, I'll be able to get ender pearls here and then send them off. Over here we have a button. There it goes. Hopefully it makes it all the way. I decided to do something like this. Just it's It was the easiest way of doing it. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I don't think I have any ladders. So we'll just walk on here, I guess. And every 20 blocks, I have a detector rail and a power rail. Hopefully that was enough for it to make it all the way. Go, 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 go. Ooh, hungry already. Watermelon is really, really lame. <laughs> you see the snowmen there? That's from uh, when I fought the dragons still. I still have snowmen on the island, and they're in like an never-ending battle with the Endermen. They'll take a they'll take a shot at the Endermen. Endermen teleports <laughs> every time. So the, before they used to attack the snowmen, but they don't anymore. And it made it awesome. So we need to make an unloading station here too. Yet. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't. We're good. Uh, let me grab some comparators and stuff, and we will do that. So I was looking through a bunch of chests for some redstone stuff here, and in one of them, I happened to find a single lone <laughs> comparator. Uh, we only need one, though, so let's make sure we don't lose it. <laughs> These guys have actually saved me a few times. Like I've, I've accidentally looked at Enderman, and they've been chasing me, and then one of these guys will just secret service him and he'll take off and leave me alone. Uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, so what we're trying to do here, storage minecart's going to come, we want to unload the ender pearls into uh, some chest reservoirs here and then return automatically on its own. Uh, if, if the chest, the reservoir is full, we want it to sit here and wait until there's space for it and then when it's f the cart is fully unloaded me to take off again. So to do all that is actually pretty simple. Let me show you how to do it in case you don't know. Uh, we're going to change this spooky sound. Change this over to a bunch of hoppers and actually let's put the chests down already. So we'll have a few double chests. Uh, well, this is actually a really messy setup. <laughs> Sadly, my end is not very pretty. I haven't 
I haven't focused too much on making it look good, and it shows. Maybe one day we'll build some actual structures here, though, and try to make something cool. Uh, let's get our power rail back. So stuff stuff will trickle down to the bottom chest. Um, items in these hoppers going into the chest can also go down to these hoppers. So should work out okay. And then to do that cart thing, let's see. <laughs> Whoa, guy, get out of my crosshair. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to lower this more, actually. Take these out. This is why I, I had an axe on me before I lost it. Um, let's get that going. And comparator here. Look how simple this is. So we get a comparator. Block in front of that. Oops. Invert the signal with a torch. And get some redstone dust up here. And then a block on top of that. Mm, like so. So that powers the power rail. Uh, unless there's an item flowing through here, then this turns on, this turns off, and the cart sits there until it's done sending stuff through the hopper. So it's pretty simple. However, though, let's actually get rid of this for right now. I just want to show you something really important with this setup. Do, 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 do. Okay. Just a little experiment here. So, if you if you send blocks through this, look at this, the comparator is not turning on because there's it's not registering any items in the hopper. Very strange. <laughs> Because it's definitely sending stuff through there. If you were to lock the hopper below for a split second, is it still sending stuff? Hey, all of a sudden it starts working. <laughs> it's flashing on and off. Very strange. Take this stuff back. But again, we send stuff through. This isn't turning on. We power it for a while. Now it stays on all the time. <laughs> Very weird. Take that out, put it back, and now it's not doing it again. So, this is a weird thing that happens if you have a hopper below, it sends it right through and kind of skips this one. But if we, just a really simple trick you can do is just use a chest. And now when we send stuff through, this always works. Take it out. Put it back. This turns on. So that's one way of, of getting around that little issue. And you should definitely keep that in mind if you're setting this up. Okay, so let's let's actually test it out now. Do, 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 do. Okay, so you get a storage cart. Uh, let's put this up to make this easier on me. Oh yeah, and put the power rail back. So, so now, uh, let's let's cut that in half actually, so it goes quicker. Push it over. That turns the power rail off. You can see it's off. It's unloading right now. Thirteen, twelve, ten, eleven, 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 eleven five, four, three, two, one, and automatically goes back. Sweet. So, that's all there is to that. Well, it's that time again, everybody, where we need to wrap up the episode, unfortunately. So here we go. This is the comment I picked for today. It says, hey, Etho, what's your favorite movie? Just wondering. Not going to judge. Not going to judge you or anything like that. Hmm. This is a tough one because there's a lot of good movies, really. Um, and <laughs> my favorite movie changes quite often too I find but probably currently well <laughs> I guess my all time favorite movie is probably The Truman Show I really like that movie um, when I was in school I had to do like a film study on it 
for my English and that really made me appreciate the movie a lot more because I had to like <laughs> look at the different camera angles and figure out what they meant like what mood they were trying to convey and all that kind of stuff and just really in-depth analyzation of the movie and yeah <laughs> that was a really interesting movie because there's like all these different camera angles and that kind of stuff and just blew my mind when I realized all the work that went into it um and it had an awesome story and all that kind of stuff good actor Jim Carrey you know uh probably second favorite movie is The Prestige and I don't know a couple other good movies I like I like um The Guardian that's a good one I like uh my favorite animated movie is probably Wally -E. really like that one um let's see I like Gone in 60 Seconds <laughs> A lot of people don't like Nicolas Cage, I know that, but I like that movie. Um, what else, what else? Well, it's not that they don't like him, he's just kind of, woohoo! <laughs> um, what else? Um, Armageddon's good, that's a really cliche. The Dark Knight, um, The Avengers was good. I'm kind of getting sick of... Well, I'm not getting sick of action movies. I just don't find that I could ever pick them as a favorite movie ever. I like something that's a little more intelligent <laughs> than just like a Hollywood thriller type thing. But, like The Prestige, for example. But anyway, that's just a few of them. Um, Jurassic Park, very cool. Um, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.